Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to let you know that I have a Rumble channel where this video was posted a week earlier. So consider checking it out and enjoy the rest of the video. So, while I was off stream, off camera, as you might say, I finished up our villagers over there. I got all of them in. I ended up putting, I think it was a, whatchamacallit, a toolsmith, just because I looked through all of them and I was thinking about having a Fletcher, and the only reason I would do that is for like tipped arrows and like more bows and stuff, but then I looked at the toolsmith, it's like, well, if I ever need more, like if I ever need a ton of pickaxes, like I just go on an insane mining trip, I'd probably need him so that I can buy pickaxes and I can buy them for one emerald, an enchanted diamond pickaxe, so I don't have to waste any of my diamonds. I also got all the farmers. We've got our wheat boy, our potato boy, and our carrot boy. They all buy bread. Because the other ones, they wouldn't go down, so I, these guys are the replacements. The other guys may have passed away. We got our clerics and our stone masons, which have been good. Because I've been collecting quite a bit of quartz and quite quite a few emeralds. I mean, that this is just a, a little bit. And then I also need to start making automatic farms for all these, like clerics. Yeah. Oh, and I organized the shulker box. Not the shulker box. The, uh, the ender chest. It is... Very organized now. I only I don't know why the Nether Star's here. I think I need to make that into beacon. So I've got the Dragon Egg, my bed, emergency emeralds, love bucket to burn stuff. Nether Star is gonna be moved. But then in here I've got all of my tools. So you got all my hose, my shovels, my two compasses, those flint and steel leads, lapis because that's technically cool, anvil and sponges. And then in this one I have a, a bit of gold. <laughs> J just a little bit not not a ton of gold but i've got a little bit of gold since i have iron this is not iron this is paper that's paper this is iron this is like the beacon one which i should also let me just nether star you go in there so that's our beacon with iron i don't know why i would ever need gold but i just figured i should probably have it with me just in case so i organized all those just these two are extra cleaned it up a little bit uh, I'm going to leave this pillar here because I'm thinking about maybe putting more villagers up here sometime soon. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This boy. While I was breeding villagers, not breeding, uh, messing around with them, I found myself a very special iron boy. This here is an iron skeleton. He's got, I think, just his... Yeah, his pants are enchanted, but his helmet and chest plate are enchanted. So we have a very special boy. And then I think that was it. This probably is going to have run quite a bit. Let's see. How is our wool production going? Oh, very well. For some reason, brown is having issues. But that's probably because it only has one block on each side. But yeah, that's going well. Look at that. Okay, these guys are also having a little bit of issues. How about this side? Not a lot. Not a lot. Half stack, half stack, around half stack. Yeah, you know, for some reason, why is gray and light gray so abundant that doesn't matter so we got those guys i think i did a little bit of strip mining yeah, yeah yeah i did a little bit of strip mining worked on the nether hole a little bit but mostly i was just like at work working making money for the new pc but today i was planning to work on the island more but then i remembered oh it's october so I got my Halloween skin on, and these are what we're focusing on until Halloween is over, are these special boys. So we've got a lot of these guys just kind of scattered everywhere. And I'm figuring, because this next Halloween I've got a plan, and I'll tell you what that is. So this, next Hall this Halloween I'm not going to stream on Halloween, because on Halloween I'm going to spend, like, I think five hours. We're going to build a massive platform out of like, I don't know, stone or something out here in the ocean. And I'm just going to keep reloading the chunks until we get like the super duper special boys. Like enchanted iron armor with a pumpkin on head or a glowing one. I don't know. But 
what we're doing today is we are going to make the area in which these guys are going to be. So I remember when we did this, it was either this mountain or this mountain. I think we might do this one because it's bigger. So let me just, so like this is going to be where the sand lays, so we can't have it there. I'm thinking, yeah, let's dig into the side like right here. So if I just dig into here, yeah, there we go, that works. And I just kind of, there we go. So we got this huge area that we can work with. And honestly, this is probably going to be perfect for like a special mobs area. This is just where we put all our special boys. So I think we'll have the entrance be like right here or something. Let me just quickly fix this just so it looks semi-decent. What else do I need? Yeah, I just need one more of these. I'm just trying to make this look. Well, I will mainly worry about making it look good later. For right now, it'll be like that. So I'm not exactly sure how I want this area to go. Because, I mean, we've got a big area to work with. So I'm thinking I've got a ton of deep slate, so we should probably just keep expanding on it. And, like, kind of figure out where the walls are going to be and stuff. Because this shape right now is it's wonky. So let me go grab, I, I literally have no plan for this. I just know I want to put mobs in here. I have no plan. So I might need your guys' help. But I'm trying to visualize it. Okay, okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. So first thing I'm going to need is some filler blocks. So let's go grab, let me see what I have. Yeah, I think if I have the walls, like, at this, like, this far in, it'll be pretty good. Also, if I can place these blocks correctly, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, kind of like that. It's so, like, we'll have our entrance be here, and I'll adjust it. Because I want the entrance to be, like, sticky pistons and stuff, right? Because we still got our Christmas tree that we'll probably improve on this year. We'll make this tree way better. But in here, we'll walk in, we'll have the entrance, but for now, I'm just going to mark out all the areas. Yeah, that, that works good. It would be a little better if I could actually, like, I should be making this out of wood. Why am I making this out of deep slate? This is, like, really difficult to see out of deep slate. Well, it's, I think it's too late now, so never mind. I, I, that's the entire reason I got the wood was to visualize like this, but you know what, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, it's gonna come over like this some more though until it hits like a straight up corner, so like right here or so. Cause I've got, since this area, this like flat back I can use quite a bit of since it doesn't curve too much kind of like that you can see that right like yeah that that works so that's our area that we have to work with now I'm thinking we should probably get the floor done just so I'm like oh yeah yeah, yeah. now I like I can definitely see so let's Let's go into my my building world and figure out a floor pattern. Do do and then cut sandstone. Yeah. So that's like our our floor pattern, but then what do I put in between? Maybe that's where I put like these two. I put the crimson stuff. Like I'll have them two on the sides like this. And then like maybe crimson stems right in the middle. Or maybe right here I have a light source of sorts. So we'll have like, so we have our shroom light and then we grab the frog, why is it in caps? Like the pearlescent frog light. That'll kind of fit. And then we grab purple. Or magenta actually, magenta would be better. 
Yeah, magenta looks better. And then there we have that frog light. So we've got the purple frog light and then the shroom lights. Although I'm not a big fan of how that looks. What if I like... Yeah, I think that looks good. I kind of like that. So this is our color palette. Let me just... So we're not, we don't use pink, but we use all of these. We don't use the normal one. So those are all the ones we use. So we have 10 different blocks and we just got to gather a lot of these. We already have frog lights, may not have shroom lights. Glass won't be any problem. This red wood won't be problem or this purple wood. This is red. Yeah, I kind of like this. Like this is kind of like our whole our whole thing for that area. So let me just screenshot those two because they're all the blocks we use. Oh wait, hold up, I need to take another one. No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this. I like it. It isn't like crazy weird and it kind of just works. It'll look good. Yeah, let's Let's stand. We still need to do this stuff for the Technoblade. We need to go gather mud. Because we still have not finished that. Yeah, let's go do this. So let's go gather up, like, I'd say around four st stacks of each, maybe. Four stacks of each block. Alright, that's good enough. That is our... Uh, whatchamacallit's it? That's our red sand done. Okay, I need you guys to stop, 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 stop. Stop it. Like, it just, it's completely glitched out. It's completely broken. All right. You go in there. Nope, stop. 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 You can also just go in there. All right, we got our beacon. We got <coughs> our iron blocks. Now we can head back to that one Badlands. And just start mining out a ton of stuff. Shine. Boom. Alright, then we grab haste. Haste 2. Thank you. I don't need any of these sticks. But let's grab some terracotta. Yeah, this is just like all orange. Let's grab, yeah, three stacks. That'll be enough. Oh, there is red. That's actually really helpful. Okay, maybe this Badlands isn't absolutely terrible. How much red do we need? We need a lot more red than orange, so we'll grab like four, five stacks of red. Well, let's grab our orange first, since that is why we are here. Okay, so that's all the red. Is there anything... Oh, is this normal terracotta? Oh yeah, this is just like normal terracotta. Okay, so we can always just come back here then. Okay. So we grab our shulker box. Put all our orange, put all of our red, except that one. So we don't need any of this other red. Grab our ender chest, even though I probably should have waited, but you know what, whatever. Okay, so there's those. That's all the terracotta we need. And then it's like, wait, red glaze terracotta? That's like, I have to smelt it, right? So I actually need one more stack. Because I think I have to smelt this in order to get that, like, swirly red block. Let me just grab... There we go. Alright, let's go. Back to home. We'll throw this in the furnace. Hopefully it gives us the swirly red one. Because then that'll just be easier. And then we just gotta get shroom lights and some glass. Hmm. And the crimson wood, which is kind of annoying because that's the hardest one to get. So all the piglins and what's it called? Pog, not poglins. Uh, it's piglins and hoglins. That's what it's called. Piglins and hoglins that spawn in that biome. Craft another beacon. Perfect. Two beacons now. Just ready to go. Alright, so we have our... Red sandstone, orange terracotta, red terracotta. We're going to need more of the swirly terracottas. Maybe. 
All right, what do we need now? Oh, we also need the mangroves. Okay, that's not going to be too difficult because we got ourselves a mangrove tree in the water, which I've been actually wanting to get rid of. Oh, no, I don't want silk touch on the hoe. Do I have a hoe with just fortune? Perfect. That's that's the hoe I want. My two different hoes. Okay, I'm going to go get rid of all the leaves first and hopefully get some more mangrove propagules. Oh, wait, that's not how you get them, is it? Oh, so this doesn't even matter. Because you don't even get the propagules like that. Alright. Okay. So that's that's all that. So let's head back to our our shulker box. And we can go grab some more propagules. Because I think actually, what if I just like This has silk touch on it, right? Yeah. Hold on, let me go back. Hold up, go back. I need one of these. I just need one leaf. Okay, so like if I turn down my entity distance first, because this is ridiculous. Why is it at 500? Whoops. Okay, so we have our mangroves. Let's also just come up here. Where is our... I know we have like a mangrove area. Mangrove swamp stuff, yeah. Oh, look, we got some logs in there as well. How lovely. So we got mangrove roots, these... So if I just take like... These leaves and I like stick them on the ceiling and I grab... Like, bone meal and I just... Aha! Would you look at that? It works. Boom, propagules. Okay. Okay, that actually works really well. Because then we got all these propagules. We got more propagules, right? So we got 11 in there, and then that's that's it. That's all the propagules we have. But we can get more. That's the important thing. So we have some mangrove logs. That's about it. So let's put our, our hoe back. Because for right now, we're... Actually, no. We do... We do need this. Because we are now going to go to the nether, maybe, unless I've got myself warped. Nylium, do I have the red mushroom? No, okay, so no, we are going to go to the nether real quick. I don't need a ton, because I'm going to have one platform for farming the mushrooms and one platform for growing them. Alright, that'll be enough. Soon this whole area, well not soon, but eventually this whole area will just be gone. So the nether hole will eat it up. Alright, we got our crimson nylium. Let's see what this looks like. And this will get us our shroom lights as well. Oh, it's night time. That's great. Alright, sleep times. Hello. Mr. Totem. Okay. So if I come, let's do it like over over here. I feel like over here would be a good area. It's like kind of open. It's like we've got one platform. So we got one, two, do do. So we got nine right here. That's for the the growing part. And then we got some right here. It's like we'll take our crimson fungus. Because look, look, look. If I come over here, I'm also going to need my axe for this. I need a ton of bone meal as well. So look, if I come like this, on this one, and I just bone meal it, eventually, I'll get more of these. I'll get more mushrooms, and a ton of these roots, which I don't want. But you know what? I get more of the mushrooms. And that's, that's the important thing. So we have eight mushrooms. So then if I, like, grow this guy... Ow. Yeah, and then they just grow right next to each other, and it's great. This guy have efficiency on it? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, hold up. We need to change hose. Yeah, and then I'll also be able to get those shroom lights. So we have boop, grows. Holy crap, he must have been tall. Yeah, and then I can just chop these all down at once. Boom. Perfect. And then I grab my fireworks, fly up here. 
and then just start taking it down. And I also get shroom lights while I do this as well. Yeah, so if I just get rid of all of this red stuff first, which we, I guess we could have used, like, one of these nether warp blocks. Yeah. We could have used these. We probably could use these instead of, like, the crimson, not the crimson, this is crimson. Uh, the, the whatever you call it. The terracotta. We could have used this instead of terracotta, but I'm pretty sure terracotta is going to look better. Yeah, look how much of that stuff we got. Like, holy crap. And we didn't even get, like, that much wood. I think it might be more efficient just to, like, go to the biome instead of sitting here trying to do this. Oh, look. Oh, my. Yeah, we're going to the biome. Like, this is just... Bruv. I mean, we don't even need that much, but like, still, this is quite a bit. And also, my throat is really starting to hurt, so I'm probably going to end stream. Oh, and it's it's all dead, so I can't even place it back. Yeah, we're just going to... Alright, well, we will continue next stream. It's just, holy crap, my throat is hurting, and I'm drinking as much water as I can. And it's just... And I'm tired. get a baby zombie in a cage without uh, him escaping. Uh, there's one guy left. I just killed like eight hood members. They're all dead. Hmm. Um, how would you get a baby? Did you get the baby zombie in there? He's in there, but he's in a minecart. I want him out of the minecart without him escaping. Uh, Dang it! Break the minecart from the roof. Oh! I should do that. Okay, let's try that. Let's try uh -oh. Getsy's strat. Chingy ching ching. Okay. Could buy anything. Got that. Bum, bum. <gasps> it I'm worked! Getsy's oh a genius. Oh my gosh, I almost just ran over that cat. It's a kitty. It's so cute. Why would you yeah, just start wait. shooting? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. Kitty, run. Run, Getsy kitty, was run. right. He's a genius, and I keep breaking my floors. Hi, doggy. Ow, why is the doggy attacking me? Alright, that's all the special boys. No more for now. I'm gonna leave those Hi, railways Jeff. there. But I'm I'm done with the special boys. I don't want to do any more. What about Jeff? Oh yeah, we gotta do Jeff. Okay, hold up. We got one more. Who's our specialist of special boys? <laughs> we gotta find. I know there was like a husk baby somewhere that can be our special special Jeff. Yes. Here he is. I found him. All right, you sir, little baby, you are Jeff. You've been chosen for a great purpose. 
Let's go. My Do you have any mods on your hardcore? Like any like just like any of them? Uh, I just have like shaders or well. anything. Yeah, I've got shaders, but it'll it'll crash my game considering I'm only getting 38 FPS right now. No. Oh. When I get my new computer, it's gonna be like the beefiest of the beefies. Like how much FPS? Like I will have shaders on max render distance, max simulation distance. Like everything will be max, and it'll have like 200 FPS with shaders. Oh my gosh, mine is only 60. I'm making mine beefy. I'm getting the like. Do you think 60 is still expensive. good for shaders? Oh yeah, 60 is amazing for shaders. Okay. But I'm gonna get the. Um, so I'm getting. Uh, I don't have a monitor yet, so I'm just using a TV, so I can't get shaders <laughs> yet. But once I have a matching <laughs> monitor. With my graphics card, it'll be awesome. So are you like, you've just got this massive TV in front of you? Uh, not a massive TV. It's like a maybe 20 inch TV. How much is that? I don't know. I'm dumb. That's like over a foot. That's that's like halfway big. Oh my gosh. Uh, the song of this one. Uh, this is called Chris. It's just Chris by C418. That's the name of this song. One of the Minecraft songies. Yeah, one of the Minecraft ones. I don't know why it's called Chris, but that's, that's what it's that's called. That's what Minecraft named it. Mm. Yeah, but the other ones are like wet hands and whatnot. That's like kind of like, okay, that kind of makes sense for a video game song, but just Chris. That's like somebody's Chris. name. Chris. Chris. Amazing song choice, C4. But it does look pretty funny. Uh, wait, how do you sh uh, do screenshots again uh, on keyboard? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't just, know either. I just use snipping tool. Yeah. And yes, get see if you are in my Discord server, just message me and I will send you all of the music in my playlists. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, I'm done with the 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 boys, the mob hall. I'm done with that for now. Now, what do I need to do? 